Hello children, today in this video we are going to start with our new chapter, chapter 8, percentage. Before starting the exercise, first of all, introduction children. First of all, what is percent? Percent is a ratio whose second term is 100, means per cent upon 100. Cent means 100 and per means upon. Percent means per 100, means upon, it, uh, upon means in the denominator it should be 100. And what do you mean by percentage? Percentage is the numerator of a fraction with 100 denominator. With denominator 100. Like I will take an example over here. This is the numerator of a fraction. This is upon 100. So what is this basically? It is 45%. I can write over here 45%. Upon 100 is there. So we can easily write 45%. Now children X size. X size 8.1. Convert the following fractions into percentage. Whenever you have to convert any fraction into percentage, always you will multiply the numerator with 100. Always keep this thing in your mind. That whenever you have to convert any fraction into percentage, we will multiply the numerator with 100. So 2 by 5 is given to you. 2 by 5 into 100. You can cancel this. 5 ones are 5. 5 20 is 100. So 2 into 20 will be equal to 40%. This is our answer. 5 by 40. 5 by 40 into 100. It is equals to 25 by 2. 12.5 percent. After cancellation you will get 25 by 2 and 12.5 percent. Next this is given to you in the mixed fraction. 3 2 by 5. Convert this into improper fraction. 15 plus 2. 17 by 5 into 100. So 5 ones are 5. 5 20 is 17 into 20. 340 percent. 7 by 25 into 100. So 7 by 25 into 100, 25 ones are 25 fours. And 7 fours are 28%. Next, 3 by 20. 3 by 20 into 100. This will be cancelled. 0 and 0 cancelled. 2 ones are 2. 2 fives are 10. And 5 into 3 will be 15%. Question number 2 children. Convert the following percentages into fractions in the lowest form. Now percentage is given to you. We have to convert this into the lowest form. Children, whenever there is a percentage sign, we have to remove this percentage sign. So write upon 100. So 8 upon 100 will come over here. 8 upon 100. Cut it with a table of 2 first of all. 2 4s and 2 50s. Again with a table of 2 we can cancel. 2 and 25. So 2 by 25 is the lowest form. Next is 12%. 12 upon 100 will come. When you will cancel it, you will get 3 by 25. Next is 12, 1 by 2 percent. So convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. 2 into 12, 24 plus 1, 25 by 2 percent. So 25 by 2 into uh, upon 100. And when we have to remove this percentage sign into 100. 25 ones are 25 and 25 fours are 100. So we have got the answer 1 by 2 fours are 8. Next children it is 3.75. Here point is there. Decimal is there. 3.75. So it will be 375 by when I will remove this decimal what I will get 100. And percent which will come as it is. So 375 divided by 100 and remove this percentage sign and write here 100. So 5 75 is 375 and 5 20 is 100. Again with the table of 5 you can cancel it. 5 15 is 75 and 5 4 is 20. Then again with the table of 5. 5 3 is 15 and 5 20 is 100. So lowest fraction is 3 by 80. 4 into 20 is equal to 3 by 80. Next children. Next question in this. Fifth part 0.75%. So 75 upon 100 because I have removed this decimal. 75 upon 100 percent. 75 upon 100 in 200 will come when I will remove this decimal. So with a table of 5 you can cancel. 5 15 is and 5 20 is again with a table of 5. 5 3 is and 5 4 is. So what is our lowest fraction? 3 by 400 will come. Next children 6.4. 64 by 10 percent. So 64 by 10 into 100. This also you can cancel and you will get 8 by 125. 
3 by 4 percent remove this percentage sign and write over here 100 so 3 by 400 it is a lowest fraction only 250 percent so 250 upon 100 will come 0 will be cancelled this also can be cancelled with a table of 5 5 5s and 5 2s are 10 so what is our lowest fraction 5 by 2 because it is an improper fraction children so therefore we will convert this into mixed fraction which is 2 1 by 2 which i have told you in the previous videos also now ninth part in this 115 1 by 2 percent convert this mixed fraction into improper 231 by 2 and remove this percentage sign upon into 100 so 231 upon 200 this is an improper so convert this into mixed fraction 131 by 200 4.75 percent so 475 by 100 by removing this decimal so after removing this percentage sign 100 will come here next children cut it with a table of 5 in the last you will get 19 by 4 so 4 into 100 19 by 400 next children question number 3 out of 50 students of a class, 28 are boys. What are the percentage of girls? So children, if total are 50 students, number of boys are 28. Number of girls will be 50 minus 28. So total students 50, number of boys 28 and number of girls will be 50 minus 28 which is equals to 22. Now percentage of girls we have to calculate over here. Percentage of girls means Whatever the number of girls are there, that we will write upon total number of students and percentage we have to count, therefore into 100. So cancel it, 0 and 0 will be cancelled, 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. So 2 into 22 will be 44%. Question number 4, a shop has 600 shirts, out of which 1 fourth are defective. Now 1 fourth of the shirts are defective. What percentage of the shirts are defective? Now children, total shirts are 600. Defective shirts, one fourth of the total shirts are defective. So one fourth into 600. Number of defective shirts you will get after cancellation is 150. So percentage of defective shirts, 150 upon total into 100. So you can cancel this and what you will get? 25%. What is the percentage of defective shirts? 25%. Next children, question number 5. Shanu scored 340 marks out of 400. This is very useful for you because you are also getting the total marks and from that total marks you can calculate your percentage also. So Shanu scored 340 out of 400 marks. Find the percentage of marks scored by Shanu. So total marks are 400. Marks scored is 340. Percentage of marks 340 by 400 into 100. Cancel it. You can get easily 85%. Now children, along with this, test paper 2 is also there in your syllabus. Which is on page number 147. So in that 3 questions are there that we are going to do. Question number 7. Devanj covers a distance of 250 kilometers in 5 hours. Find the distance covered by him in 6 hours. So it's very easy. Distance covered in 5 hours is 250. Distance covered in 1 hour, 250 by 5. And distance covered in how many hours we have to calculate? 6 hours. Distance covered in 6 hours is 250 by 5 into 6. 5 ones are 5, 5 fifties are. So 50 into 6 is 300 kilometers. Next children, question number 8. Out of 200 students, 80 are girls. Find the percentage of boys. It is very easy question. You can also do it. So total number of students is 200. Number of girls how many given to you? 80. Number of boys how to calculate? Total minus girls. 200 minus 80 which is equals to 120. So percentage of boys will be whatever the number of boys. 120 upon total students in 200. Cancel it. You will get 60%. Children, 10th question, the ratio of the income to expenditure is 7 ratio 6. Means, income is 7 and expenditure is 6. Find the savings if the income is 14,000. We have to calculate the savings and if the income is 14,000. 
so let the income is 7x and expenditure is 6x now income is given to you 14000 so we can do 7x is equals to 14000 so 7x is equals to 14000 because it is given to you so from here you can calculate the value of x which is 14000 by 7 cancel it with a table of 7 which is 2000 so what we have to calculate over here children find the savings for savings we want expenditure also because total income minus expenditure is equals to savings so expenditure is 6x now expenditure will be 6 into x whatever is the value of x 2000 6 into 2000 12000 savings are income minus expenditure this you have to learn whatever is your saving that is income minus expenditure so income is children 14000 and expenditure is 12000 so savings will be 2000 so thank you children complete this chapter in your notebook